Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video we are going to show you how you may improve your LE5040 engraving machine with some nice uh, improvements. So uh, you can replace your board and we are going to tell you a little bit more about the board. Uh, you may use your smartphone and convert it into a web camera and then use it for positioning your image in light burn. You can add a digital microscope and see a laser beam focusing and we'll tell you a little bit about external uh, additional legs that you can adjust height on your machine. So let's get started. Let's get started. This is our laser camera holder and this is our smartphone that we are going to hook to mount on this holder. You can see uh, it can be installed quite easily and uh, you can adjust uh, the position of your camera. So you see that we can adjust the position of the camera make sure that the entire engraving area can be seen. Okay, so here we have a capture image from our cell phone uh, converted into a webcam. The software called Droid Cam is very easy to pair with the computer. So we see that the laser is installed somewhere in the center and we are ready to uh, set up to actually uh, position the laser and position the camera in Lightburn. So at the beginning we need to print out this template, you can find it on Lightburn. So this thing is necessary for uh, setting up lens. So actually it's checking out how your uh, camera is uh, being set up in proper focus. Okay, let's get started, uh, we use Lightburn software so we go here okay we go tools uh, calibrate camera lens okay we need to select our camera okay okay so next Okay, so we have our round circles over here and we need to put them into five different positions. One in the center and on all corners. It's better to have at least uh, five, but more the better. Nine is the perfect. Okay, so we um, run it and we do capture. So this is uh, in the center and you see that the score is pretty good. Okay, what do we know next? We need to put it into uh, yeah, to another position. Okay, we slightly move it. We have some delays on our camera because it's Wi-Fi. Okay, and now let's move it to a little bit another position. We just removed our um, Y axis, okay, now it's, it looks like it's positioned well, and we do capture. Also we have 0 0.06, and pattern was found. Now we need to move it to the left. Let's move it to the right. Okay, we accept it to the top. Okay, capture. To the right bottom. done to the left bottom
top left. Okay, capture. Right top. Yeah, once you do, you did it, you don't need to do it all the time. Okay, we are ready for the next step. The next step is aligning the camera. So we press a button here and we need also to select the camera, it's already there and we need to print out these patterns uh, you can actually engrave it as well so these patterns are necessary uh, so that you can have proper scaling so uh, basic sizes uh, uh, range between these uh, pieces is like 20 centimeters uh, 8 uh, inch but if you are worktop is bigger and or smaller you can actually change it as well okay we didn't have uh, we didn't print it out we engrave it on piece of plywood and we put it over here so it is over here we need to make sure that it's in the center we set up into the center the next phase okay we're gonna press next and we need to align with actual actual image so not bad resolution Okay. okay we press uh, camera control and we will be able to see our camera and the image if I put my hand over here we'll be able to see it with the delay okay Okay, so next step is to draw a rectangle. The linear size of this rectangle is 18 on 18 centimeter. Uh, and if everything was done correctly, then uh, those lines and everything should be aligned well. Okay, let's see. And if it's not, we have these parameters for adjustment. Okay, now we have a piece of uh, our template the, where we want to show you that everything was set up perfectly and we put it on work top. So it'll appear over here in Lightburn and uh, to make sure that everything was set up and calibrated perfectly we need to draw uh, another rectangle, let's make it small, one on one centimeter and let's put it somewhere here should be somewhere here let me show you on the piece somewhere here I suppose okay let's check it out okay it looks good okay, so you see that on the right it was quite close to these rectangles but not quite here so we need to make some adjustments in light burn so as you can see on the screen uh, it's almost it was there uh, on vertical but on horizontal we need to move it uh, up we use these parameters to to make sure that it was perfectly aligned and now you see that we did it
Now you can uh, engrave with perfect positioning with your smartphone and endurance camera holder. Show you the installation once again. So here we go. Okay, here is a bonus track as we promised. So we have an adjustable legs and we are going to share these STL files with you. They will be on Thingiverse on our, on our page. We have a special fixation system so that the uh, that the engraving frame is quite stable and um, you cannot move it. So this is uh, an uh, older uh, board, motherboard for this frame that we use. So uh, there is no Z axis here, and that's why we replaced it with the other one. So uh, there are a lot of different boards on eBay and Amazon, uh, just make sure that they are all compatible with GRBL. Initially this board has a GRBL 1.1F and we upgraded it to 1.1H, so the latest version. And you have uh, two pins for X, Y and Z axis, so you can actually adjust height and uh, pins for the laser. So you see that there is, uh, th there are three wires go from here and you can still wire with our laser it's quite easy we don't use red because it's power we don't need power for our lasers we use on the yellow which is PWM and blue here is uh, we wire with our black it is ground last thing we want to tell you today is uh, about this digital microscope. So you can buy these digital microscope on uh, eBay and Amazon. The price of, for them is about $10, $20 including shipment. The thing is that with this digital microscope you can hook it to our laser and check the laser beam uh, quality and laser beam focusing. So it's uh, once you uh, don't want and don't have enough patience to uh, check with other methods so you can see on screen what is actually going on. Uh, another, just one nuance that you need to keep in mind that you need a filter because even on low power, focusing power, it's still too bright. So you need to put some uh, filter like green or red filter to be able to see the beam, uh, laser beam spot. Up, uh, focusing power and you see the spot here so you can hear the noise it's our life hack how you can check that you're in focus and let's see what we have on screen uh, here is our screen and you see the the small the small spot so if i move uh, up and down our lifting table uh, you will see that the spot is increasing size, so it means that it's getting out of focus. Here is uh, also increasing size, so here is somewhere here we have the perfect focus. So guys, hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends. Have wonderful experience with endurance lasers. If you have any questions, uh, text me plus seven. 916-225-4302 or call me WhatsApp, Viber, Telegram. My email is gf at endurancerobots.com and uh, you're welcome to visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com. Bye-bye.